Hi, my name is Ann Bolton and I'm an objects conservator. I've come to the Cowboy Museum to work on James Earl Fraser's End of the Trail, a small version of it. This sculpture was probably meant as an ephemeral object. In other words, it was just a tool to get from one stage of the sculpture to another. It wasn't meant for permanent uh, survival, so it's amazing that it's even here. This particular work of his, for some reason, you know, really struck a chord with people. The large version that we had, it's in the hall here, the enormous plaster, was first exhibited in 1915, where it made such an impact that most of the bronzes were produced following that. Clearly, it was something that was important uh, enough to people that it created a demand. It's possible there could have been more than one, depending on how many sculptures they were gonna make. But this is the only one of these that, that we know of that exists today. This model was created to uh, make bronze casts. There's a line, a cut line down this arm here. That is a score mark that was made when they cut away a flexible mold that was taken off of the sculpture. We presume it was done the early part of the 20th century. So they would have covered this with a gelatin. And then once it was hard, they would have cut it away in pieces and then peeled it off. And that probably caused damage to the sculpture. So I am trying to just improve the surface uh, sort of coherence so you can look at it and sort of enjoy the form without being distracted by all the lumpy, you know, ugly stuff. You know, you feel like, well, the artist probably actually applied this, so that's pretty exciting. Feel like you are closer to, you know, the artist's actual touch with an object like this.